So welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your break. So uh, the next session follows nicely on our first two. The, if the first session was really around this whole question about the truthfulness of the uh, answers, the second session really got around to the issue about the questions. And we would like to know that the results that we get from studies are true both for the people who were in the study as well as true for people who we would like to apply the intervention to but who were outside of the study. And I think that's where we were engaged in the last uh, conversation. Now we're going to talk about this issue of treatment response heterogeneity, which is largely looking at that variation within uh, the study and trying to understand um, its implications for the uh, benefits and harms of uh, treatments. And delighted this session is being moderated uh, by uh, Rich Platt. Uh, many of you know he's a professor of population uh, medicine uh, at uh, Harvard and uh, head of the uh, Department of uh, Population Medicine there. He's also uh, been leading the FDA's uh, program uh, on Mini Sentinel, uh, which has been an enormously successful uh, uh, effort to develop a uh, population wide system that tests for the uh, safety of uh, medicines. Uh, he's also a major figure, along with Rob uh, uh, Califf, in the collaboratory uh, and has been the consistent force for good in the Clinical Effectiveness Research Innovation Collaborative, uh, where he has managed to maintain a very uh, high profile and uh, really a wonderful focus on the research efforts in, the, uh, in CERC. So, uh, Rich, we'll turn it over to you. And <laughs> well, as Charlie Brown would say, good grief. The, uh, so, so while, while each of the sessions we've, uh, we've had today has had a different topic assigned to it, the word that has appeared most often has been subgroups. So if, if there were a musical uh, score attached to this program, uh, there would be a trumpet voluntary now because now we're going to focus exactly on that topic of, uh, of treatment subgroups. So uh, uh, this is a, a great way to sum up the day since uh, uh, I, I think er everybody's agreed that, uh, that the, the real action is on being able to sort out uh, uh, effects in observational studies and in randomized trials of uh, on subgroups, so uh, the same general format for um, uh, for, for this session: lead-off speaker, two um, two follow-up speakers, and then two uh, two commentators. Our, our lead-off speaker, uh, immediately to my right, is uh, David Kent, who is um, based at uh, uh, Tufts Medical School. He's a general internist and uh, and a clinical methodologist. And fortunately for us. Uh, uh, much of his work deals with making uh, inferences uh, on to, for uh, recommendations for individual patients uh, based on uh, effects that are measured in groups. So uh, this one's right down the middle of the plate for you, David. 